Dearest Gwendolyn, there's no reason why I should make it a secret of it to you. Our little county newspaper's sure to chronicle the fact next week. Mr. Ernest Worthing and I are engaged to be married. <laughs> My darling, Cecily, I think there might be some slight error. Mr. Ernest Worthing is engaged to me. The announcement will appear in the Morning Post on Saturday at latest. I'm afraid you must be under some sort of misconception. Ernest proposed to me exactly ten minutes ago. Huh. Yes, it seems very curious, for he asked me to be his wife yesterday afternoon at 5.30. <laughs> if you care to verify the incident, pray do so. I never travel without my diary. One should always have something sensational to read in the train. This ghastly state of things is what you call bunburying, I suppose. Yes, and a perfectly wonderful bunbury it is. <laughs> Most wonderful bunbury I ever had in my life. <laughs> well, have you no right to bunbury here? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, one has the right to Bunbury wherever one wants to. Every serious Bunburyist knows that. Serious Bunburyist? Good heavens! To lose one parent, Mr. Worthing, may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. 